There are many different versions of the Boeing 747 flying in the world today, but believe it or not, these are very conservative designs compared to versions of the 747 that never saw light of day. Let's explore the world of could have been 747s. The first design is the Boeing 747 Trijet. This first design sounds like something out of science fiction. The original Boeing 747 was built with four engines, each requiring plenty of fuel to power the aircraft vast distances. But what if Boeing found a way to remove one of the engines but still maintain the range and backup engines of the aircraft? Enter the Boeing 747 Trijet. Modelled after other Trijets like the small Lockheed L-1011, TriStar and the McDonnell McDouglas DC-10, it was designed on the frame of the Boeing 747-300, but with only two underwing engines. The third engine, unusually, would be housed in the rear of the plane. This version of the Boeing 747 would have the advantage of less fuel consumption. However, during engineering, it was discovered that major changes would need to be made to the wing and the aerodynamics of the plane, and thus the aircraft would be given a new type rating. Airline pilots who wanted to fly the aircraft would have to be retrained on the new type and not be able to use their Boeing 747 training. This made it unfeasible to build. The next version of the Boeing 747 was the Boeing 747 ASB. Following the success of the Boeing 747SP, Boeing decided that they would need to develop a Boeing 747-400SP, dubbed the ASP. This would be a competitor aircraft to the new at the time Airbus A340 and would be able to carry 295 passengers to a range of 8,000 nautical miles. However, in the end, airlines were not interested in the product and Boeing rolled its production design into what would become the Boeing 777. The Boeing 747-500, 600 and 700. You might notice that the Boeing 747 series makes a big jump from the Dash 400 up to the Dash 8, seemingly missing entire generations of aircraft. The Boeing 747-8 is actually called the Dash 8 as it incorporates multiple technologies from the Boeing 787. But the first of the mid-generation aircraft that never were was the Boeing 747-500. This aircraft would have been an ultra-long-range 747 to fly between London and Sydney. The aircraft would have been stretched for more passengers and fuel, as well as using new engines developed at the time, allowing it to fly faster. Next, Boeing tried to develop the Dash 500X, Dash 600X and Dash 700X. Each of these aircraft were further stretches of the Boeing 747, able to carry more passengers than ever before. Ultimately, this project would have cost Boeing around about 5 billion US dollars to develop. Boeing failed to get enough interest from the airlines to move forward with the design phase. Following this, we have the Boeing 747X and the 747 Stretch. When Boeing heard rumours that Airbus was cooking up some sort of double-decker aircraft, which would become the A380, they decided to speak to the airlines about a possible stretch version of the 747, perhaps even one with an upper deck that would stretch the entire fuselage of the aircraft. They created two versions, the Boeing 747X, which could carry 430 passengers to a range of 8,700 nautical miles, and the Boeing 747X Stretch, a 500 passenger capacity version that could carry them up to a range of 7,800 nautical miles. Like previous models, airlines were not interested in it. Boeing shelved the idea and put its research into a range extension on the existing Boeing 747-400. The last version on this list that was never developed was the Boeing 747-400 QLR. This last serious design of the Boeing 747 was the QLR, or Quiet Long Range Aircraft. Designed to be as quiet as possible, the aircraft went through different rounds of revisions until eventually being cancelled. But research done to reduce engine noise was rolled into the rest of the Boeing fleet. What do you think? What variant is your favourite? Let us know down in the comments. And if you like this video and want to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button.